merely that it's not enough to wax in another's flame. To be held in reserve, to be on hand, on call, to step in, or not at all. The substitute, the near honor, the temporary acting. If I am moon, continuous moon in my own shoes, moon in June, April, September, and no member of the human race keeps warm my moon in space. Yes, I can tell by the way he nods. Quite mad, of course. What? The answer lies out there in the swamps. Oh. The skeleton in the closet is coming home to roost. Oh, yes. Already in the opening stages, we note the classic impact of the catalytic figure. The outsider, plunging through to the center of an ordered world and setting up the disruptions, the shock waves, which, unless I am much mistaken, will strip these comfortable people, these crustaceans in the raw pool of society, strip them of their shells and leave them exposed as the trembling raw meat, which at heart is all of us. But there's more to it than that. I agree. Keep your eye on Magnus. Out! I say, that'd be a the warm. You? Uh, yes, hello again. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I, she's... No doubt you're surprised to see me. Honestly, darling, really? Ah, oh, extraordinary. Yes, well, here I am. <laughs> you must have been desperate to see me. I mean, I'm flattered, but couldn't have wait until I got back. Uh, there's something you don't know. What is it? Look, about the things I said, we got carried away with them. What are you trying to say? I love another. I see. I didn't make any promises, I merely... You don't have to say any more. I didn't want to hurt you. Of all the men! Well, I... You philandering coward! Let me explain. This is hardly the time and place. You think you can barge in anywhere, whatever I happen to be doing. But I want you to know that my admiration for you is sincere. I don't want you to think that I didn't mean the things I said. I'll kill you for this, Simon Gascoigne! It was her. I told you, straight to the top. No, no. Well, shh. Uh, yes, what is it? I'm just here to, uh, set up the card table, sir. I don't think I can stand here. And then maybe you will do be very disappointed. Does she know that I'm here? Oh, yes, sir. I just told her and I put her in cold white, a tizzy. Well, I suppose now that I've cleared the air, quite a tizzy, you say? Really? 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 Felicity, she's the one. Nonsense, red herring. No, I mean, it was her. What was? The lady I saw you with last night. Are you suggesting that a man of my scrupulous integrity would trade his pen for a mess of pottage simply because in the course of my profession I have happened to struck an acquaintance to give that is a warm regard for a fellow toiler in the vineyards of grease paint? I find it simply intolerable to be vilified in pillory. I never am. To find myself the object of uninformed malice, the petty slanders of little men. I'm sorry. To suggest that my good opinion in a journal of unimpeachable integrity is at the disposal of the first coquette who gives me what I want. Shh. Why, Myrtle and I have been married now for... Christ. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Lady Muldoon. No, I mean, who is she? Cynthia. Don't say anything for a moment. Just hold me. She's beautiful. A vision of eternal grace. A poem. I think she's got her mouth open. Stop. 